All right, welcome back. Another shave, another week. Today we're gonna cut straight to the chase. Thumbnail says it all, it's a fine shave. Fine platinum. Uh, don't know much about them. I've read a lot of good things. The platinum smells clean, classy, manly. It's not flowery, it's uh, wow. This cleans like a cologne smell, but not all in your face cologne. It's a subtle but clean. I like it. All right. uh, we're going to pair that with the fine lather and bowl. People rave about these. And to top it off, fine platinum aftershave. Never used. I've, I've never used any fine product. Uh, I wish I could have got the brush to go with the whole thing to round it off, but uh, I do have, get it here, the Haircut and Shave Company Barber Pole Synthetic Brush Tuxedo Tips. That's the first time using that too. I've had that soak in here. You're not, you don't have to soak a synthetic brush, but everybody's got their thing, so I've got my Doctor Who Christmas mug. All right. We're going to do the DE89 again, my Edwin Jagger razor, but this time we're going to use a Persona Platinum. Uh, never used one of those before either, so let's go ahead and get that loaded up straight out of the package. Hectic Monday. Nobody likes Mondays. What better way to end a crap day than with a good shave? So, we're gonna straight out of the tub. It smells good. Shook most of the water out of that. So, for the very first time ever, for me, already that's coming to it just out of curiosity straight to the bowl Let's see how that goes whoa got a runner that works great the brush the bowl the soap the they all seem to go together really well. Look at that. There she goes. Get that back in there. Get back in there. Push it like that. Get some little air bubbles in there. Hey, look at that. Without even trying, this stuff works up like it just wants to. That ain't going nowhere. That's good stuff. Yeah, I went to the barber today and he got a little carried away. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'll shave that. It's, uh, wow. That brush is nice. I usually use uh, boar hair brushes. This is actually my first synthetic brush, the Haircut and Shave Company Barber Pole. I've always heard good things about synthetics. Everybody now is doing the uh, Yaki brush. Everybody seems to be on a Yaki brush kick and I haven't quite been able to Uh, 
bring myself to pull the trigger on one yet. And every time I find one, I, I'm like, okay, I'll go ahead and get one. It's sold out. So. Let's go ahead and get this started. This is another one of those. I didn't want to believe it, so I didn't believe it. But uh, apparently, these Persona blades are pretty good. Mikey likes it. Oh, and I appreciate the likes and the views. Last video I uploaded, my first video, it did pretty well. Better than I expected. I tried to promote it. The, the uh, more views I would get. But it's not like I ever set out to get like a million subscribers or, you know, a 10,000 views a day or anything like that. Not my favorite blade, but it's not the worst one I ever used. A mild razor and a mild blade. Now I know why they include these in almost every sampler pack for beginners. someone comment on my last video and say maybe you can show us how you trim up your mustache well I'll, I'll clue you in on something I went to Walmart and I bought a Norelco beard trimmer I set it on two I tape the head down and I knock it down to number two that's it <laughs> and I knock a little off the corners when I'm shaving that that's it it just grows in white trash this way naturally but you know, embrace your flaws. I'm a fat guy, I sweat a lot. I got white trash facial hair. Uh, used to have a mullet when I was a kid. Leonard Skinner tape. Bud Light, man this brush is nice. Paint pillows here, man, this is great. Get some Bob Ross action going on. Just happy little clouds. My little friend. There we go. Oh, that's nice. All right. Kind of makes me want to do a three pass. Just to mess with the brush some more. And this soap is, it doesn't overpower you when it's on your face. I like that. Some of these. Some of these soaks will uh, get on your face and not let go. Oh, that, that soap is, I really like the soap. I've seen people uh, tout the American blend 
and uh, they say this platinum smells a lot like Creed. I'm going to be honest with you. I've never actually put my nose up to Creed. I've never had an opportunity to. The last Creed I had anything to do with was a movie. And I fell asleep 20 minutes in. But uh, they say it's really expensive and it smells really good. Well, if it smells anything like this, or if this smells anything like that, then it's got to be amazing because this stuff is great. But it's not so overpowering and so perfumey that you kind of you're off put by it. It's classy, clean, and more importantly, it performs just. I feel like I'm cheating on my parasso, but. We're not in the same area code, so it doesn't count. Oh, and I noticed in my last video, every time I'd been down my mirror, you could see the camera and all that. I took the mirror down, and I replaced it with uh, my Day of the Doctor poster. Another thing I noticed with the soap is uh, if you talk a lot or take your time with Parasso, it might dry out if you whip it a little dry. This stuff is uh, on point, as the kids say nowadays. but I'm gonna go for three just because the soap and the brush so that, that soap is still ready to go man it's not cold and I got enough in the brush I got plenty in the brush I could probably squeeze four out of this but no three's enough and three's just a clean up This stuff is great. Who would have thought, huh? And it's not that it's not that expensive the brush. Anyway, I mean 16 bucks for a soap. Oh, well, I don't want to spend a lot of money. It's 10 bucks for Parasso, man. Spend the extra six and get some fine, man. I I I'm gonna go back and get more. I just know I am. It's gonna be another argument. How many soaps can you use? Every every single one. All the soaps for all the reasons. The one I'm really excited about trying. Is uh. From Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Cold spices. When I was a kid, Old Spice was what my dad used. It's what everybody's dad and grandpa and everybody used. And uh, I don't think I'm alone. There we go. When I say the old stuff, it doesn't smell anything like the new stuff, or vice versa. There was better quality stuff back in the day. American consumer culture has pretty much ruined high quality products. That's just the way it is. Unless you get small batch 
Places like Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Doug seems really passionate about the products he makes and uh, the product pages. Uh, the sales pitch, the product description, whatever you want to call it, is uh, it's like he spends hours trying to type it out, but I'm pretty sure, man, I've, I've seen a ton of his videos, just product spotlights on uh, YouTube. And then I'd rather be shaving with Matt Pisarsic from Razor Emporium. His energy is in the words. Like you read it, like his banter, that da, 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 that pitter pat in his voice and the humor and the energy. He just pounds it into every sentence. I don't know if he's typing it out or somebody's like doing a really good impression of him with a keyboard. I don't know. Um, but he seems real passionate. So I, I've never used a slant. And uh, the product description for his uh, Bakelite slant was spot on. Sold me uh, cold water rinse. As I was even after a rinse. That's, that's smooth. Nice and slick. <sighs> Much better. Yeah, nothing either way. I always catch a straggler somewhere, but that blade did pretty good. I'll give Persona. Scale of one to five, I'll get a three point five for my own personal taste. Uh, I think it's a mild blade, but anyway, yeah, Doug Smythe, he earned my business just on banter. I don't, at this point, I don't even care if the soaps are any good. He just seems like a fun guy to go drinking with. But uh, I'm excited about that Bakelite slant and the cold spices. I'm going to get the soap and the uh, accompanying aftershave. I like things to match. Speaking of things matching, we just shaved with the uh, fine platinum. So I'm going to give this a shot. What I do like about these is uh, you can pronounce everything that's in the uh, ingredients, which oddly enough isn't on the back of this bottle it's on the back of the box which is down there in the garbage but I'm not dumpster diving on camera put a tad of this in the, in the palm here just a bit spread it around Ooh. a little burn not too bad It smells just like the soap. It smells good. She's going to like this. Well, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I've got a box from Razor Rock coming in with a bunch of stuff. I say a bunch. It's a bunch for me. But uh, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, I'm going to get on and uh, see if I can't order my Phoenix box. I'm going to get a few things from them. And then uh, after that is West Coast Shaving. I'm going to get a few things. I'm trying to get everybody's uh, own products, stuff that companies have developed. Because everybody knows Gillette, Vanderhagen, uh, Mercur, Parker. Everybody knows these companies like that. But people that actually put in work designing a razor, coming up with a scent profile for an uh, aftershave and a soap like Doug, um, I, I've got to try that. Off the shelf is just meh. But um, I like this fine stuff. I'm going to get the rest of it slowly but surely. And I'm going to do another fine shave. Thank you to my wife for doing the thumbnail. I couldn't figure it out. I was just going to pick something, probably me holding up <laughs> the products. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if there's something you could suggest I try, leave it in the comments. Um, 
If you really enjoyed it, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Razor Rookie, uh, just like the name implies. And uh, I'll try to catch you next time, another four or five days. Have a good one.